Okay, so here's today's challenge. We're going to try to make a top band vertical antenna um, from an 80 meter inverted owl or a 40 meter vertical. And uh, I'm going to try to use my um, base loading coils. I've got to build one yet for top band. I'm not quite sure which one of these two I'm going to use. Um, and uh, We'll see if we can make it work. Shall we start by making a hole in this? Uh, I think we'll use this one. So let's make a hole in this to begin with about that size. I'm not applying any pressure. Um, okay. Lovely. So that's the base. We're going to wind it. And I don't know how many turns to do. So perhaps the next thing to do is to go to the, uh, to the computer, onto uh, 66 Pacific calculators, uh, and take the measurements of this. This is 110 millimetres, which is 11 centimetres in diameter. Let's go and do that first. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, the computer. Uh, and we know that our inverted L uh, for the 80 meter band is actually 65 feet in length. Okay, well, let's actually put it in, because I've already done this. 60, 65.6168, because <laughs> it says it there, um, feet. In, in length, that's our um, our 80 meter element, our inverted L, okay? And uh, we're gonna put the coil at the base of that uh, antenna. And we know that the, uh, the antenna's um, wire is 0 0.06 or 0 0.0 something or other. Um, oh, it's there, okay, we'll use that. Okay, that's 0.75 millimeter squared. Uh, wire um, according to Google's translatey thing and the frequency we want to work it for is um, 1900 okay uh, so that's 1.9 1.9 megahertz calculate and apparently we need 43.2 uh, micro henry's on the coil um okay that's good that's uh kind of in the middle of what i need to be so 43.2 micro henry's if we're going to use the inverted um l now if we're going to use the 40 meter uh, element which is 10 meters long which is 31 feet um let's just change that to 31 feet so we do a calculation again, and this time we need 110 uh, micro henries. So armed with this information, what we need to do now is work out precisely how many turns that is on our um, our former, and uh, we'll start making the coil. Next bit then. Um, we have a diameter of 11 um, centimeters um, I'm going to guesstimate we're going to need about uh, 30 40 turns let's put 40 turns in for now um, and if we're going to have it at um, two and a half millimeter spacing um, which is the same width as the cable all right so put the cable side by side wind it up undo one of them and we've got a very nice even space. Um, I reckon that's going to be uh, 20 centimetres in length. Let's have a go. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, wow. Okay, we know we're going to be in the ballpark. So um, let's try 30 turns uh, and that's going to be probably less 15 centimetres, something like that. Okay, there we go. We'll do that. 
Okay, so we're using DX10. Um, nice new reel. And DX10 becoming a bit rare at the moment. It's hard to get hold of this stuff. Um, but, you know, it's really good antenna wire. So let's put it to good use. Look at that, I couldn't have made that better if I tried. Um, Shall we wind it anti-clockwise or clockwise? Does it make a difference? This is what you've got to ask yourself. Which is easier? How many turns do we need? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's start off with 30 or 40 turns. Uh, and what we'll do then, we'll cut it and thread it through. Um, we'll bear the ends so that we can put our... Um, LC meter on, and then we'll measure the amount of Henry's that we've got, and we'll take it from there. Nice. Okay. So oh, there we go. I don't know how many turns that is. I'll count them afterwards. Uh, but it's a very long coil. Um, what I'm going to do now is unwrap it. <laughs> uh, and I'm not going to unwrap it quickly. I'm going to stick um, a couple of bits of tape around it as I go, just to hold them in place uh, until we get it to 100% sorted. Um, what I've done is I've drilled a hoe and I've fed the top one through. Let me see if I can show you. I drilled a hoe and I fed the top one through the hoe. What I'm going to do now is um, tape it and then I'll unwrap the other one. It's the one that's on the coil I'm unwrapping. Next job. So we'll put some there and then I'll uh... just cure that just quickly. Okay, here we go. We've got our coil. Um, it's not brilliant, it's not perfect, but it's, you know, it's good enough. It's uh, nice. What we need to do now is um, we'll drill each end and put uh, our um, connectors on. Um, we'll use some um, M5 bolts and nuts uh, just to terminate either end of the coil. Uh, and then we'll measure it and see how many micro Henry's it is and um, we'll go from there.
Okay, right, so we have uh, a nut in each end, bolt and nut, it's not tightened up yet as you can see. I've cut the cable, I'm going to put some um, ring connectors on them now to go over the, the nuts and we'll tighten them all down and then we'll use the LC meter to find out what the value of our coil is. It's going to be way too much uh, for what um, I'm intending. Um, but I'm hoping to get both the 40 and the 80 meter elements to go to top band using the single coil, but we'll have a go. Brilliant bit of kit this. Super glue's letting off some fumes which I don't like. Okie dokie, here we go. We've got our coil. Spare bits of wire everywhere. And uh, everything's all nicely tightened down. Let's see it now. Let's put it in L. Zero it. So our coil measures uh, 84 um, microhenries. Uh, for it to work on the 40 meter element, we need 120 microhenries. So I'm going to wind a secondary coil here, uh, but it's going to be close, close wound, i.e. side by side without the space. Um, and we'll do maybe 10 turns and we'll see what that gives us. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 turns, 18 turns. What does it give us? 41, 42, 41 microhenries. I think that's what it gives us. Let's just uh, zero it just to make sure. Okay. 42 and a half microhenries. Good, good, good. So, so the overall coil gives us. 140, 137, 138, 138 um, microhenries. Okay, that should be enough. Now we need to create a couple of tap points here and here. 49, 55, 49 and 55 microhenries. And the idea behind that is to allow the 80 meter inverted L to work on 160 meters. Bear with me. I've yet to solder them on, but I've bared back a little bit of the wire and bent up the spade connectors. And uh, what I'm going to do now is solder them onto the wire. Should be a little bit of fun. I think they should make a reasonable good connection. And I've also got uh, the spade there, which uh, I shall solder onto that piece of wire and then that wire will connect to here. Um, anyway, let's uh, see if we can do it. Okay, so that's covered in hot melt glue, it's just going off um, to hold the spades in place. Um, I've just done a little bit of tape at the base, at the top of the coil, and there's a close wound coil. So in total, this is 138 um, Henry's, micro Henry's. Uh, the lower coil is 84 micro Henry's with tapping points at 55 and 49. Michael Henry's um, and the idea here is that we can attach this to the 80 meter inverted L on a DX commander that should give us top band 
or we tap uh, or so we connect the entire coil to the 40 meter element and that should give us top band again um, and hopefully if my maths is correct uh, that should work faultlessly um, but of course it's never never that simple we've also made uh, an additional coil this one uh, which is for again as you can see got the the taps on it this is for um, 80 meters on a 40 meter vertical so we can now do 40 to 80 or 40 to 160 or 80 to 160 hopefully anyway um, we'll put them all out and test them okay so what we've got is the driven plate going into the bottom of the coil tapped at the 49 micro henry point top of the um, bottom coil is now connected up to the four to the 80 meter inverted l which goes over to the house we'll find out the lowest i can get the swr is around two which is fine if you've got an atu built into the radio um, you can obviously hit the atu button and it would uh, tune it in perfectly um, you know what with a bit of uh, fine tuning and uh, fiddling around you'd probably get it absolutely spot on um, as it is you know what it's usable it's definitely usable let me just see what the SWR is we'll just come off this band a little bit and uh, we'll just check the SWR here Okay, so it's two and a half at three. Um, like I said, I could play with it a little bit. If we come up the band a bit to around 1900, um, I think it's probably be lower. Yep, there we go. So it's 1 1.4, 1 1.2, 1 1.4. Um, if I go up the band, it's coming back up again go down the band it's coming back up again so we've centered it at around 1900 uh, which is reasonable and uh, one shot let's take it out and what we've got is our the X commander connected into the bottom of the coil that's been tapped at around the uh, 40, um, yeah, it's around the 40 uh, microfarad point now because I've shorted the, uh, the first three turns to make this um, tune uh, and uh, the rest of it is uh, not required unless I'm using the, the 40 meter element across the other side which I'm not going to do, um, but you can put the 40 meter element and the whole thing, the whole coil all together uh, allows the 40 meter element to be used um, on top band. Not that it's very efficient, as you can appreciate. In fact, it's absolutely rubbish, but it will work. So there you are, chaps. How to do a top band vertical in your garden. There you go. I thought I'd bring it in just to uh, to show you. Um, it actually reads uh, 35.5 um, micro Henrys. Um, so there you are. If you want to make your 80 meter inverted L work on top band, that's what you need to do. Put a base loading coil of 35.5 micro Henrys. And if you want the 40 to work, well, that's another kettle of fish. I just think they look like TIE fighters, that's all.